Hey guys, Crystal here. Welcome to a much requested guide on how to catch the tarantula and the scorpion. To begin, you'll want to put away your net if you have it out. Walking around with your net out will only prompt the tarantula and scorpion to attack you, so it's best to have it ready in your quick select. Be sure to walk around slowly as moving too fast will also force the bugs to become aggressive. I'd highly recommend playing with the volume all the way up, or even better yet, with headphones on. Both of the bugs make a very distinctive scratching or scuttling noise. These are different from the noises you or your villagers make while walking, so just listen carefully. So, you've come across one of these rather nasty bugs. Now what? Well, there are several ways this can go. More often than not, you won't even have the chance to catch it. They both have a habit of crawling off cliffs or into rivers, essentially making them disappear. The other situation involves you being too slow on the draw. Once you've heard and or spotted one of them, you have a short amount of time to catch it. If you fail to, it will simply disappear. The best thing you can do once you've found your new creepy crawly is to get close to it slowly and quickly take out your net and swing. As I mentioned earlier, they get aggressive if you move around too much, especially with your net out, so it's best to take it out only if you're ready to catch it. They're regarded as the most tricky bugs to catch in this game, so don't be discouraged if they sting you before you get the chance to swing, or if they disappear. I find either entering in and out of buildings, or using the save and continue function can reset the bugs around town, so try using that to your advantage when you want them to spawn. To recap, find them around your town by walking around slowly without your net. Get in position to swing your net, and use your quick command to quickly get your net out. Swing for dear life, and hopefully you'll catch the little bugger. And that's about it. This version of Animal Crossing doesn't have the ledge glitch or other exploits in catching these bugs, so you'll have to rely on your listening skills and speed. Similar to the coelacanth, it takes practice, but once you get it down, you should be able to catch them quite easily. And this has been yet another how-to on this channel. If this helped you, then why not like, comment, or maybe even subscribe. And while you're at it, here are some of my other guides for Animal Crossing New Leaf. This has been Simply Press Start, where gaming is as simple as pressing start.